be Mommy with Style and today is my Black Friday haul part two and this is pretty much a lot of my online orders I thought I would share with you guys. It seemed like there was a ton of great deals this year but it was obviously a lot of things that we were kind of in the market and needing anyways. Clothing for me for work, clothing for Isabella because she did just jump sizes and that sort of thing so it worked out really well that the timing just worked out to fall around all of these sales. So I thought I would share some of my finds that I got online and I did post about some of them on my blog on Black Friday. So I wanted to share what I actually ended up purchasing as well that I posted on my blog and it was all really good deals. All for us, mind you, I didn't do a lot of gift shopping yet, but I'm actually planning on doing a lot of my gift shopping on Amazon this year, Target.com. So I'll be sharing some gift guides coming up of easy gift guides that you can get quite quickly is my kind of plan this year. And I also like to do photo books as well for gifts. So I'll talk about gifts in a separate video because this is pretty much all for my family. But um, what I got on Black Friday, the first thing is I posted about on my vlog the Tory Burch sale. So there was a 30% off on Tory Burch. I believe you had to spend over 250, but it worked out perfectly because I had already been looking at updating some of my shoes for work. Um, if you guys have been watching my channels for a long time, especially back to the bags for Bubbles days, you know I really like Tory Burch shoes. They fit my feet great and they really do last a long time. Now that being said, I had some shoes that I've had for pretty much as old as Isabella is, if not older. So they're like eight, nine years old. And I was starting to wear holes in them. And you could take them to a shoe place and get them fixed, but really I would had them for almost a decade. So I wanted to update them. So I had been eyeing this mini style shoe, which is the new travel shoe. You can actually fold them up and they come with this little um, bag that you can travel with. So I thought that that would be a cool idea since we're wanting to do more traveling in the future. And so I got these in the French gray, which I've already worn to work and they're really comfortable. So my shoe size is around an eight and a half. And in the Rivas, I always feel like you kind of need to size up except for one pair I have. I got an eight and a half and they're almost a little big. They're the hard sole ones. That's hard all the way around. The anthracite like leopard print ones. Those almost ran a little bit, but generally in Rivas, because of this part on the back, you almost have to size up. So I got a nine in the minis, and they do fit, but I feel like an eight and a half would probably work. So they are really true to size. I love this French gray color. I will wear this a ton to work. So that was a really great purchase. And then I got the 30% off of both of them. So I wanted like a fun color. And I already have Rivas in a tan, a black, and a blue. So I wanted to kind of get something a little bit different. And I got this garnet color, which is kind of a purpley um, kind of red. And I love it. I thought this was kind of festive for the holidays, but I would wear this year round. It's a fun color if you had a dress that picked up on this color. And you really could make this a neutral. It's kind of a fun neutral. So I got these as well. And these are the same mini style shoes, so you can fold them. I'm not planning on folding them a ton, to be honest. Um, if I'm traveling, I may try it. But um, I'm not wanting to wrinkle the sides. But it's nice that the capability is there. So if you're taking like a day big and you need to save the space, you can fold them up on themselves and they can. So that was a really great purchase and really timely as well because, like I said, I was already looking at these online and pretty much going to buy them regardless. But then I thought, well, I should wait for Black Flyer Day and see if there is anything. And they ended up having the 30% off sale. So that was a great deal on both of those. And I also posted about the Gap sale. And Gap was having a 50% off sale. So I had gotten some work pants at the Gap. And I believe I'd gotten like 30% off of those work pants. And so I was wanting to try to get the same pants that I already have in like a black. And... Um, but I don't think that they had exactly the same thing online. Um, the inseam was a little bit different because I'm so short, I'm really short legs. I needed to get the shorts and all they had was the regulars. So this is the pant. It's just like a um, kind of tapered leg and this is the regular. So I'm hoping they're not way too long, but it's called the skinny ankle pant. It's just a nice basic black pant. But I did get those for 50% off, so I thought, well, if anything, if they're too long, I can wear them with boots, and then they should at least work. They just won't work with flats. So I've got to try those on still, because obviously I'm opening this all up. But then they also had sweaters, and this was a really good deal. I loved kind of the blend of the pinks and the purples. I think they called it a navy. I thought this was really super cute, although I do live in Alabama now, so I don't have a huge need for sweaters. But I really like this one. It was a really, really good deal. It was like... Normally $40 and it was half off, it was $20. 
So I got this. This will probably be like one of the few like full-on sweaters that I buy for the year. And I really liked the colors on that. Then I went over to Macy's and I again found a pair of jeans that was on sale from, I believe it was Style and Company. And then also a large cardigan. And coincidentally, this cardigan kind of matches actually the shoes that I bought from Tory Burch. It's kind of that same color. So I really like this color and it's just a nice flowy cardigan. The brand is International Concepts. And then I also got some dark skinny leg jeans from Style & Company to try out these as well. And I haven't even tried these on yet, but they, they got really good reviews online. So I'm hoping that those should be comfy. So I think this is kind of like the color I'm going for this season. I'm really liking that kind of muted burgundy that has a little bit of purple tone. And another thing I wrote about on my blog was Diff Eyewear. They were having a big sale on their website as well. And their sale was you got a certain percentage if you bought one pair of sunglasses, another percentage pair if you bought two off, and then if you bought three pairs of sunglasses, you got 50% off. And I needed sunglasses. We have the cruise coming up, and I really like this company. So it's kind of the same idea of, as Tom's, which I actually bought some new Tom shoes too, but they're just not here yet. Um, I like this idea when these companies, you buy a pair of something and then they give a pair to someone in need. I really like that idea. So Diff does that and I used to, if you guys came from Bakes for Bubbles, you know, I used to buy designer eyewear and it was like a thing, you know, you're in your 20s, you think you're getting what you're paying for. And honestly, I started to realize like these aren't all that better than like kind of the mid-tier designers. And then I decided to try Diff and also Key and I realized, you know, these are just as well made as like the designer sunglasses at a third of the price. And also, I like that you're doing something good for someone. So it says, thank you for making a difference. Um, it doesn't say like what the stipulations is, but oh, here it is. For every pair of diff shades sold, we donate one pair of glasses to a person in need. That's really cool. Um, so I'm going to continue to buy my sunglasses from them. Um, you know, I'm really pleased with the quality. They were the sunglasses that I wore in Florida. I had so many people on Instagram and on my videos afterwards ask me where they came from. And so I actually ended up, because I'm very into rose gold, as you will see from my, um, my Toms that I ordered that are not going to be in this haul. They are actually, one of them is a rose gold pair of Toms. And then these are actually the Becky sunglasses in rose gold. So these are the same glasses that I wore in Florida. And then these are the rose gold version. So let's try these on. I've been super into rose gold. I actually bought some rose gold jewelry as well, which I'm going to share. So these are those. So I already like the tint. It's got a really nice tint. So these are the Becky sunglasses in rose gold. And I like the shape of them on my face. I feel like it kind of like helps my face out. My, my face is kind of funny where I feel like if glasses don't cover up my eyebrows, it can get a little, I don't know, like they don't fit as well. Then these are matte black frame, gray polarized. I think it said the name is Rose is the name of these. And I like these because these had a little bit of detail on the tops of them. This is what it looks like from the front. I like that there was a little bit of something going on. These might sit a little bit low on my face. Obviously, I haven't even seen what these look like yet. But it would be something a little bit different from what I already have. So those are the rose sunglasses. The Beckys fit my face really well, too. They're really super comfortable. And then the last pair that I got is more of an aviator style. And the name of that one is the cruise and this is the cruise in the brown and it's got like a gradient like a I don't think they call it, it's got a brown gradient on the inside this is what it looks like and then that's what the cruise looks like so obviously I haven't even seen these yet you guys are the first ones to see them on me let me know which ones you like but I especially am really liking these water sunglasses now that we live in a hot climate and uh, the Becky ones especially fit and feel really good on my face. So I have three pairs of sunglasses now in addition to the ones I already have. I'm not going to need any sunglasses for a while. But like I said, this whole thing cost me $115 for three pairs of sunglasses. It's ridiculous. 
A Chanel sunglasses will cost you 300 something dollars and you help three people get glasses that were in need. I mean, this is such an amazing deal. So anyways, I won't harp on that, but I am very happy with my decision to start buying sunglasses from Diff and I'm happy with the quality. So we'll leave it at that. Um, but it does, you know, I feel like it's, you know, nice to do something for someone um, like that if you can. So those are those and that's why I've been liking Diff. And then, like I said in my other video, I also ordered some things online at H&M. These are pants for Isabella. Um, I got her some skinny jeans and these were recommended by our neighbor for, um, Bella's really like tall and thin, but her legs are longer. So these were recommended by our neighbor. Look at the little heart, that's so cute. And so I got these in a 6-7 and these have an adjustable waist, which we always really kind of need, so that's always nice. And I think that these are gonna fit Bella great because she needs the length, but she needs the waist to be smaller. So um, I think that these should work out really, really great. And they're like, Natalie is the exact opposite. Natalie has short legs like mine, so I have to find a complete different brand. And we're starting to get to the point where stuff can't even really get handed down because they need different styles. Um, but Natalie most definitely needs a different inseam. But then I got this two pack of leggings and a 6-7 as well. So these will be perfect for Bella because the waist is a little bit smaller. Target pants were starting not to fit her because the waist is too big on the Cat and Jack leggings. And she needs the length of like a 7-8, but the waist just falls off of her. So um, I think h and is going to be our new go-to for pants for Isabel. Okay, and then the last couple things, kind of last but not least, um, I also ordered from Pandora. And I don't really talk about like purchases from Pandora and Tiffany all that much anymore. I, you know, kind of struggled. I went back and forth with whether or not to talk about it on Bags for Bubbles. And then I just kind of took a break for a while. But I thought I would go ahead and share these because I did... Um, order them during Black Friday. Um, they're buy one, it was buy two, get one free. I was very into like the rose gold, like I said, so I've been wanting to start a rose gold bracelet. And so this bracelet is just one of the standard bracelets and it's got the rose gold clasp. And then probably what I'll do around Christmas, they usually have some other promotions, is I'll start adding the rose gold bangles to it and that will be my new bracelet. I have one or two silver ones already, but this one I'll make more rose gold tone. And then I also ordered this rose gold necklace, which has this little station on it, which I think it's in there backwards actually. They put it in there backwards. Um, but anyhow, I've been really into like station necklaces for a long time. They've been my favorite for like a decade. So I got this rose gold station necklace. I thought this was really pretty. And um, even though I have some like actual jewelry, I prefer costume jewelry when I'm wearing like what I'm wearing right now. This is a station necklace from um, Henry Bendel. I do catch my jewelry on things a lot, so I don't know. I just, I have a couple really nice necklaces and I actually gravitate towards my costume jewelry. And then these are the little earrings to match. So actually, if you can see the earrings that I'm wearing right now in silver, this is a different brand. I think these came from, I don't know, Nordstrom or something. But it's like the similar idea. I really like like these little station necklaces. So anyhow, I got these in rose gold. And this was all buy two, get one free from Pandora. Kind of regretting actually not just going ahead and, and getting the charms. I was like, I've ordered so much. We're just going to get it started. But anyhow, that's what I got at Pandora. And then last, and I have a couple of these as well. American Girl. So we really don't need a ton for American Girl because I have the Coco stand sitting over here in this room waiting to review and have the girls see it. They haven't seen it yet. And um, Natalie just got her birthday present there. You know, so we really didn't need a ton. But I did check out the Black Friday deals and the Cyber Monday deals. And I believe this should probably be the Black Friday ones that arrive first. But they had some of the Christmas Wally Wisher stuff on sale. So I went ahead and I ordered this pack. This was the Black Friday deal and they had all of this Wally Wisher stuff grouped together that normally would be like $28 per and it was $44 without sh no shipping cost. And so you get an apron for your girl, an apron for the doll. There's this little um, gingerbread house, which if you know my decorating, you know I have a thing for gingerbread houses, candy canes, and the decorating supplies for the Wally Wishers. And then it also, I got these socks for Natalie and Isabella if she wants to, but Natalie's the one that's super really into the Wally Wishers. 
And then it also came with this little cookies for Santa that she can leave out in her Welly Wisher house. How cute is this? And then I did order Cyber Monday. They had stockings for $3, so I ordered those. And then I believe I got um, some more Welly Wisher accessories. We'll have to see when it gets here. Anyhow, they had pretty good deals. Oh, I got the astronomy set for their school over here in the house. That's for both of them. And we are planning on getting like the new girl of the year was leaked for next year in January, January 1. We will be probably buying out the entire collection, like literally just getting over with because it, her name is Luciana Vega. Her story is about going to space camp. She loves science. She loves STEM. She loves space. She has the cutest little astronaut suit. She's got a robot dog. How perfect is that for us? I mean, we literally live in Huntsville right now. My kids are dying to go to space camp. I mean, just the whole thing, the story, everything's going to be right up our alley. So we're going to get everything, the doll, the accessories. We will end up with the whole thing. So I'm already kind of got that in the back of my mind. <laughs> so I'm already kind of planning for that for January because January, February will probably be big spend months for us for American Girl. So that's coming up. But that is everything for the Black Friday hauls part two, the online orders, most of them. I think the only things that weren't here were my Tom's shoes. I got a rose gold pair of Tom's and a little pair that has anchors all over it for a cruise that's coming up in February. I'm so excited. And then I also ordered on um, Cyber Monday some more American Girl stuff. And I think that that's it. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed catching up and I will be back with some more vlogs for Vlogus. I'm actually going to sit down and film like a plan for Vlogus as well today and kind of share my abbreviated plan. I am going to be crazy and try to knock out some real time vlogs towards the end of Vlogmas. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, I mean, things are going pretty good trying to juggle it all. It's still early, but it's going pretty good. So that is it for today. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Again, these were Black Friday deals, so the sales are no longer on. But I just wanted to share what I got. And because mainly it's work clothes and kid clothes for Bella growing. And um, hopefully you're having a great day. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up, like this video, and comment down below. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.